Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So I know you guys are like, why are you in the bathroom? Blah, blah, blah. But this was just, I don't know. I just feel like being in here. I like, I like filming in here lately. I don't know why. But anyways, this video today is about how I grew my small business, how I make five figures every month, and yeah, just how some tips and tricks to help you guys. So mind you, I'm giving you guys all the free game in my e-class and the link to purchase my e-class will be in the description. So make sure you guys purchase that so you can get all the free game. But I'm gonna give y'all some here too. So most of the things that I did for my business, like I didn't go buy a book, I didn't get advice, I did not watch YouTube videos, I did as just did me. And I feel like that's honestly number one. Like I feel like a lot of people with their work, they were like, I honestly don't pay attention to other readers on Instagram. Um, I don't have a favorite reader that I read. I read my, I read my own shit. I go back and read my own shit. So that's just a big thing. Like being original is number one because it really shows, you know what I'm saying? And that is like a gift and a curse at the same time because a lot of, mind you, this can go for any business, not even just tarot because I know a lot of people don't do tarot, but um, it's a gift and a curse because I, you know, was doing my own thing or whatever. And let me tell you guys, so I was doing my own thing at one point. This was in March of 2021. So, you know, I've had my business for about a year, almost a year. And in the beginning of March, mind you, I started my business on March 23rd or March 21st, I believe one of those days. So mind you, it had been like almost a year. It was just beginning beginning to me March like the first week of March I had about I think about a thousand followers on Instagram and basically some girl in my DMs shout out to her um she sent me a video I mean not a video she sent me another readers page I didn't know this reader because like I said I really don't pay attention to other tarot readers but she sent me this reader's page I was basically saying like she wants to collab with other readers. So we did that. It was like five or six of us. And we did this collab and we got on FaceTime a couple of days later and we was talking about it. And basically like they were really saying like they didn't really gain any followers from it. But I was like, well, I gained like 800 followers. Like I really went up off of it because... You know, I guess the people really like my stuff or whatever. So, and mind you, I started off with the least amount of followers out of everybody in this group or whatever. So, um, that happened or whatever. And then, like, as time went by, you know, we all followed each other. And they started, so some of them, I'm not going to say everybody, they started, like, stealing my ideas because, like, I was doing shit just off me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and so, like, some of them would like tell me like oh I'm gonna start doing this too and I just that's not a compliment to me like I don't like that because bitch I sat up here and came up with this and did not copy you or nobody else at all and you're sitting here telling me you're gonna copy me I don't like that shit I'm gonna fucking Aquarius I don't fucking like that shit so anyways being original is key okay that's just what I'm saying because your faves fave is gonna want to copy you when you're doing shit that nobody else is doing so keep it cute keep it original keep it you make your business a reflection of you like everything you do you don't have to ask other people is it you know like if you want to combine other people and ask them like you think this is a good idea then do that because i have like people that don't have businesses that i ask or used to at least but you know somebody might tell you no or 10 people might tell you no and your idea is the shit and you know like that idea is gonna come to somebody else's brain one day and they're gonna do it and they're gonna go up and you could have did that shit first you know what i'm saying so like act on your ideas when you get an idea that shit was probably sent to you do it do it do it because you never know you know so um that's one thing that i always tell people like do if you think it's a good idea fucking do it if it flops it flops so what 
so fucking what? So fucking what? And then you'll have another one. And then you'll try that one. And that shit might go up. You know what I'm saying? So never be afraid to take a risk is another thing that I want to say. And in the ebook, I talk more about this. But a big, 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 big part is you as a person. Like you can have a business. But if you're dealing with toxicity, a toxic family, a toxic dude, a toxic girl, a toxic whatever it is a toxic environment that you're living in whatever it is it holds you back like you, you know you you still fucking with the same person that you've been cheating on or been cheating on you since 2007 like i, I don't know it's time to mm, i don't know it's time to let that go because you could be great meant for great things and that will never pass you like you you feel it you know you're meant to be great but it's like Things will be delayed until you decide to be like, you know what? I'm better than this. I'm going bigger places than this. This is holding me back. This is something that distracts me, stresses me out. Like I said, I speak way, way, way more in depth about this in my ebook. So make sure you guys click the, click, click the link in my description. But your business is a reflection of you. Just like if you had a kid, your kid is a reflection of you. When somebody sees your kid, they're going to see you. Your business is your baby. Like... When I say my business is my baby, my baby is Aries, and you know what? It shows, baby, because me and Aries, we toxic, and me and my business, she stressed me the fuck out. So, <laughs> so you have to really take care of your business, is basically what I'm saying. And by taking care of your business, you have to first take care of yourself. So, um, that is just a big thing and I cannot stress that enough. I cannot stress that enough. Like I said, I'm going to go more in depth about it in my ebook. So make sure you guys go and purchase that. Um, yeah. Okay. So, okay. So another thing is consistency. Like I know you hear this every day, all the time, but consistency is really, it really is key. Like, I did not get here by slacking off for a month. I was like, no, baby, it doesn't matter. I'm sad, I'm mad, I'm heartbroken, I'm on my period, I'm ugly. I can never be ugly, but you get what I'm saying. Like, I'm not feeling myself. Like, whatever it is, I work, I work, I work, I work. Sometimes even when I'm taking a trip, I work. Because shit, like, you have to be consistent, you know what I'm saying, in order to build yourself up to where you want to be like some people let their emotions take over business and it's like babe no like no matter what you're going through you always have something to lean on with your business like bank on that okay like if you have nothing you got that business though but you got that business but you got your endeavor but you got that so it's like get the fuck out of your feelings Get the fuck out of your feelings and focus. You have to focus. You have to focus. Hop down my feelings and I hopped in my bag. Still living with your mama, you ain't hopped off. Like you definitely have your 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 months, your moments. It's up and down with any business. It doesn't matter what you do, you're going to be having a down season. But you have to learn how to manage your money and you have to learn how to keep your faith and still believe in yourself and all of that is also in my um ebook so make sure you guys go and purchase that link in my description box <laughs> um and another thing is using all platforms like i try to do every platform that's popping because you just reach a different audience on each one and another thing is like that i've been that I've been knowing for a minute, but that I've been really trying to do is like branding myself more like me as a person. I've been trying to post my face more, post myself more, get myself out there, network with different people because I know that ultimately it'll all reflect on my business and be great for me. So definitely post more pictures of yourself, even though I can't really talk because I don't really do it that much. But 2022, mark my words, I will be doing that. Make TikToks. TikToks blows you the fuck up. Like, I have not blew up on TikTok, but I know that TikTok is very, 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 very helpful. So that is other things that I'm doing this year. And, um, yeah, so 
I'm not gonna lie, like with me, I don't really follow algorithms. I don't use hashtags. I don't do none of that. Like I like the fact that everybody who supports me supports me because they found me and they fucked with it. Not because I put an algorithm, I did some tricks and found it. And I like, I'm not saying nothing is wrong with that because that's smart as fuck and it gets your audience from zero to a hundred. But starting off, that was what I did. Like, I really didn't do all that extra shit. So, so people telling you that you have to do all that, I would not say that that's true because I didn't do that. I, the only hashtag that I ever use is Red by This, and that's the name of my business. And I'm the only person who ever uses that hashtag. So, um, you don't really need the algorithm shit. I'm gonna be real with y'all, okay? Um, it might take a little longer, but the support be genuine that way. And, you can always start at any time, you know what I'm saying? Because even I might start, I really don't know. Oh, you don't have to be so tech savvy, you don't have to know all of those things. But I just feel like in order to have a super successful business, it honestly starts with you and how you deal with your outside life as well as your business. So that's really what my ebook talks about because I feel like you see a lot of people trying to help people get their business up and they kind of just talk straight business but it really does start with you like you you are number one you are your brand you are your business because you are your business and you need to be top tier in order for your business to be top tier you have to make some life changes in order to do that and my book also talks about how to prioritize yourself and your business while having a child because I personally don't have a child but I am very close with girls my age, my sisters who have kids and like I know I'm not a mom but I definitely tell them like make sure you you know make yourself a priority like at the end of the day you cannot give your child anything unless you have that energy unless you are healthy unless your mental health is okay so that's another thing that I talk about in my book because I feel like even though I don't have kids I make valid points because even my sister tells me like I really listen to what you said and I really you know like sometimes I feel like okay I shouldn't even be telling her this because I don't even have a child so I don't get it but at the same time it's like no like I know that in order for you to give anybody anything, you have to put that love into yourself first. So, yeah. But, alright guys, that's pretty much um, all I'm going to say for now about how I grew my business. And, um, you know, not everybody's experience is the same as mine, but it worked for me being original staying down and oh and another thing another thing that i did that really helped me was not getting mind you this is not gonna work for everybody because y'all don't do what i do and if you do do what i do then you you know what i'm saying then okay but i did not get another job while i was staying down with my business like i knew that i was not gonna have energy to put into my business so I chose to stay down and stick it out and just work on that solely and that being my main focus and it all paid off for me in just a year literally started making five figures in a year and I would not have it any other way like I, people used to tell me like oh you should get a job you should do this you should do that for the moment and it's just like I'm happy that I stood firm and did not do that because now I don't need it. I'm living very comfortably. I am out of my down season and I'm happy and business is thriving. Just made 27k today. Like I was saying, go purchase my ebook for more tips on how to grow you and your business all in one. But all right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this is informational to y'all. Like I said, this won't work for everyone or not everyone will agree with me, but this is how I did it and it worked for me. So have a great rest of your day and I'm going to see you guys next time. Make sure you subscribe. Bye.